I, so that is the video that you've been asking to put the Canon EOS R5C against the Canon EOS R5 in terms of the autofocus. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do a thorough autofocus test. I'm gonna make that for you today. So let's get to that. Hey, Akuna Matata, my friend, it's called Basia. Yeah, welcome to KS family. Yeah? So let's get to the first test. We're gonna make sure that the both camera have the same setting in terms of the autofocus for the EOS R5C and also for the EOS R5. So we have both face detect and tracking on, and also we have, for the EOS R5C, we have only face only, but for the EOS R5, we have the subject detect people. And then we have eye detection enabled on, on the EOS R5 and also eye detection on on the EOS R5C. And for both, we have continuous autofocus on and also continuous autofocus on on both of the cameras. So, and also that I just want to make sure that you know that I'm using two lenses, two different lenses. One, the 70 to 200 on the EOS R5C and on the EOS R5, we have the 28 to 70. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the EOS R5 to 70 so that we have the same focal length on, on that. So now we're going to be doing the face test just to see is both of them going to look in uh, Deluxe face and also eye and we see how which one of them going to do best. So here is Deluxe. Usually Deluxe is behind the camera, but today he's in front of the camera. So you can see both of them yeah, are on Deluxe eye. All right. And Deluxe, can you turn the other side? Yeah. So we can see the EOS R5 has the square on Deluxe head, but the EOS R5C hasn't got a square on Deluxe head. So Deluxe, can you turn? All right, Deluxe turning. So when, as soon as it's, as soon as it's R5 and also R5C, see Deluxe head, so we can, you can see the square back, but you see the eye back. Um, Deluxe, can you look this side? Yeah. All right, so both of them are on Deluxe eye. Can you move a little bit forward, Deluxe? Yeah, look, look at the camera now. All right, so both are, on Delix. All right. Okay, Delix, can you turn your body this way? Hold your body. All right, so Delix using profile and both. Yeah, I think the EOS R5 locking Delix eye and as well the EOS R5C as well. Um, Delix, can you walk forward? The Delix walking. Okay. All right, can you walk back? Because I think the EOS R5C, as soon as it does not see Delix's eye, and then it lose the focus. So when Delix face the camera, you can see that the eyes on Delix. But I think, you know, the thing is, just quickly, is that when the EOS R5C does not see the eye, then he even struggled kind of to have the square on the head. But the EOS R5, you know, does change between the eye to the square on the face. Lewis, can you look the other side? Just turn, turn, turn your back. All right, all right, so good. So, I mean, this time around, the EOS R5C has also the square on Delix's head as well that the EOS R5C. I guess, so next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disable the eye detection yeah, for both cameras, the EOS R5 and R5C, and then we see how the EOS R5C is gonna handle it. Because early on, when it does not see the eyes, it sometimes struggle to get into the square onto the face. So let me quickly disable that, and then we see what we're gonna be getting with that. So, so eye detection on the EOS R5C, I disable it and let go into the EOS R5. Eye detection, I'm gonna disable too. Right. On both cameras, yeah, there's no eye detection. So now it's on Delix, yeah, Delix is looking straight away in, into the camera so we can see the square for both camera on Delix on Delic face. I think that's 
I mean, that's good. So, Delis, can you turn the other side? All right. So, Delis turning, and the EOS R5 as well, the EOS R5 C still have the square on Delis first. Delis, can you turn on your right? Yeah, look, look the other side. All right. So, still, I think this time the EOS R5 and also the R5 C is doing both great. Okay. Right. So, Delix, can you look on your left? Right. That is good. I think, you know, the... Right. Delix, can you disappear down and up? Yeah, that's Delix gone up. Okay. So, I... All right. Can you disappear one more? Up. Right. You know the EOS R5C, when Delix disappear and up, the EOS R5C does better than, than the EOS R5. Surprising. Okay, now the EOS R5 is back, and then the EOS R5C kind of lost the autofocus, because maybe find the face somewhere. Okay. Delix, can you turn? When Delix turn? So the EOS R5C is still not on, on autofocus. I'm going to try to get it focused. Yeah, now it's, I press the AF on at the back, so then it's a focus back. Can, Delis, can you disappear down and up? So that's Delis gone up. Uh, down and up. All right, I think, you know, surprisingly, yeah, yeah, please go. Guys, you know, surprisingly, the EOS R5C is more faster than the EOS R5. Delis, can you disappear one more? Let's see. Delis, disappear. Come up. Yeah, the, the EOS R5C is a little bit faster. Okay. So let, let me just check. Let me check the the speed and the responses. Let's see. Okay, guys. So you see, you know, the tracking sensitivity is on minus one. Probably that is why the EOS R5 really is slow. So I'm gonna put it to zero and let's see. All right. So now it's on zero. So we're gonna try again. You know, the same test now to see is it gonna be improving or not. So. All right, because earlier on the EOS R5 was a little slower. All right, guys, so, you know, this time, you know, both of them responses are on zero, so let's see. So it's looking uh, there first. Delis, can you look at the other side? Turn your back. So still on Delis' head. Oh, it's about to rain. And yeah, we, in terms of the EOS R5C, we lost. Delis, can you turn? When you turn his back, it's fine. Can you disappear and up? Let it disappear up. Yeah. Can you disappear one more? And up. Yeah, still, still the EOS R5C is much faster than the EOS R5. It's raining, it's not raining. Disappear one more. And up. Yeah, the EOS R5C is a little bit faster than, in terms of the responses, um, faster than the EOS R5. I don't know what is that, but yeah, that's what it is. All right, so we're gonna try to change the responses and then we see. So guys, I'm, I'm just gonna try to increase the tracking sensitivity and let's see so I increase it to plus one yeah I think the EOS R5 so I'm just going to leave it this way and also let me sensitivity AF point also I'm going to increase it oh, yes. that's how it, all right so to plus one so I increase the sensitivity 
and also the detections, right? And then let's let's see one more time. The tracking sensitivity. And let's see. All right, now it's uh, on Delis Chris. Delis, can you turn your back? So it's still on, on Delis. Track on Delix. Can you turn in your left? This is track on Delix. Can you disappear and appear? Yeah, up. I think still the EOS R5 is much faster than the EOS R5. Again, one more. Disappear, reappear. All right. Can, can you move, move back? Yeah, keep moving back. Keep moving back. Keep moving back. Yeah, can you disappear up here? Yeah, reappear. All right, can you come forward? All right. Okay. Guys, it's really surprising, you know, um, that the Canon EOS R5C is much faster than the Canon EOS R5 when they look appear and disappear. And I, I really did not expect that. I was expecting the EOS R5 would be much, much faster, much, much better than that. And also I increased the sensitivity uh, on the EOS R5, but still struggle, you know, to be faster. Let's put back the eye detection and then we try the same thing again to see if the EOS R5 gonna be, is, is gonna be different, yeah? So I'm just gonna quickly bring the eye detection back and then let's see. Because I'm really, really surprising. That is absolutely surprising. You know, I didn't expect, I didn't expect that. What, what I have, like, I have the eye detection on the EOS R5, but I have not put the eye detection on the EOS R5C, yeah? All right, let's quickly test this one and then we see. So now the eye detection is on, on the EOS R5, and the face only on the EOS R5C. So Delix, can you turn, look at the other side? So Delix looking there. So as soon as the Delix turn is um, the EOS R5, the square on Delix head and EOS R5 C the square on Delix head. Delix, can you turn back straight away? All right, good, good. So far, the EOS R5 doing also excellently. Can you disappear and appear? So Delix disappear. Again, one more, disappear and reappear. Yeah, it's fine, come. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So, you know, guys, uh, really, I, did, I, I was not expecting that. And I don't know if anybody knows if there's any setting that I'm, I'm not uh, on the EOS R5 that I did not get the right. But still, the EOS R5C is much faster than the EOS R5. All right, so let, let me quickly uh, put put the eye detection back on the EOS R5C, and then let's see if it's gonna have any effect to make the EOS R5 slower or not. Okay, so now eye detection are on both cameras. And both of them are on Delix eye, yeah? We can see that. All right, Delix, can you disappear and reappear? So Delix disappear, reappear. Again. Reappear. Yeah, still, yeah, one, one more time. One, one more time, let me get, wait, wait. All right, all right, so yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, go on, disappear and reappear. Again, I think, the, you know, again, the EOS R5C is much faster than the EOS R5. One more Delix, sorry. Yeah. Okay. One more. Just wanna make sure that I got the, yes. All right. So we can see that um, the EOS R5C is slightly faster than the EOS R5 and I really I didn't expect that absolutely not this time yeah we're gonna make Deluxe run 
So that is gonna run or walking, you know, toward the camera, and then we see how fast, uh, you know, both of them are, and also how continuously you're gonna lock into the lips first and then follow it. Yeah. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do that, and I'm I'm keeping the same setting. You know, I detection is on, face detection is on, and let try, and then we do with the eye, and also we do without the eye, and then we can. We can see. All right, so L, so Delix is over there, and the EOS R5 is in Delix's face, and I don't think that the EOS R5 see. All right, Delix, can you walk forward? So Delix walking forward. I'm gonna see. So both of them lost Delix. Where's the okay? Now they got Delix on the face, and keep coming. All right, okay. All right. So can you turn your head and walk back? Delix, okay. He's on Delix's head. He's walking, he's still on Delix's ass. He's following Delix. All right. Okay, at that moment, he lost Delix. All right, Delix, can you walk a little bit faster? He's walking faster and he's on Delix's head. And now he's on Delix's face and Right. All right. Can you walk faster back? It's on Delix, walking faster. Delix is still on Delix. All right. Can you can can, can you jog? Uh, keep, keep keep going back. Keep going back. Let. All right. Yeah. Can you jog? So Delix is jogging. Still on non Delix, and uh, now it's cut cut Delix. All right. Okay. Can, can you go back and run a little bit faster? So Delix is going back. So this time Delix is going to run a little bit faster, yeah? Now let's see. Okay. Yep. Fast. <laughs> like, a, like a pro footballer. Yeah, one more. <laughs> So now EOS R5, C lost Delix on the focus. All right. Yeah, we lost Delix in the, in the EOS R5, C, but EOS R5 is still on Delix. Yes, Delix, come. Maybe faster, it's a Delix running. Okay, the EOS R5, C struggle a little bit. One more. Okay. Keep going, keep going. All right, so now we lost, the autofocus lost Delix here. Yeah? All right, yep, run fast. Okay, the EOS R5 C is struggling a bit. All right, All right. Uh, maybe, I mean, you know, the battery is kind of, the battery of the EOS R5 C is already dead, so. I mean, almost dead, so let, let's try to change the battery. Maybe the battery is impacting that. All right. So guys, um, you see that's the problem with the battery. So the battery was like a three minute, so I just changed it. And we have not recorded anything. I'm just, we have no recording internally with the Canon EOS R5C, but it has consumed so much battery. I think that's the thing that when you're playing with the, just with the EOS R5C, it's consuming battery more than even when you're recording. But I'm gonna make a video test there to test the battery in, in, a, in a different condition, how long the battery is gonna last in and so on. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna remove the eye detection on the EOS R5C to see when Delix running is gonna be improving or not. Because when Delix running, the EOS R5C has struggled a little bit compared to the EOS R5. So I'm gonna change the, the setting. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna remove the eye detection. I think that the eye dete detection with the air surface will make it a little bit slower, I would think. All right, so now we're gonna try it again with no eye detection on the EOS R5C, and let's see. And also, let me just remove the eye detection as well with the EOS R5, and let's see how, you know, both of them fare against each other. Okay, right, yeah, Delix, you're gonna be running again. All right, Delix, run. Yes. 
Okay. Yeah, I think this time the yeah, EOS R5 will be better. One more Delix. You're going to be fit by the end of this thing, you know. Keep going. Yep. Yes. The Delix is running. Okay. All right. Yeah. I think with the first only, yeah, the EOS R5 C also doing doing great. Yeah. And it's I mean, you know, like the EOS R5 just did not beat it. But um I am really surprised or not expected how good the EOS R5 C in terms of the autofocus was was holding up against the EOS R5. And you know, at time the EOS R5 C was better than the EOS R5, and at the time the EOS R5 was better, and so and so. But it's really, I did not expect it, uh, expected that. I guess here, my conclusion, yeah. Honestly speaking, if you think that the EOS R5 C autofocus is really no great, then I may disappoint you. Because I think it's holding itself very, very well against the EOS R5 C which has the dual pixel CMOS AF2 by the EOS R5C. Did I say EOS R5C or EOS R5? But anyway, the EOS R5C, which have the dual pixel CMOS AF1, done really great on, on all the tests that I did. At times, it's better than even the EOS R5. And that is something that I was not expecting. I was expecting the EOS R5C just gonna run away with that test. But the EOS R5C was neck to neck with the EOS R5. Right? You've seen that. So if you thinking about whether you get the EOS R5C or not, then you have to ask yourself certain questions. Are you a hybrid shooter? Are you more on the video side? If you are really a purely hybrid shooter, well, Equally, the video side and also the photo side is really important for you. Then I will say to you, the EOS R5C is that's the thing that you need to go because you have all those 8K, 8K RAW, you know the 4K, and also also the rest. And on top of that, there is no overheating anymore, and also there is no record limit. And for me, those things are really important if you want to video is something important and also all the future and the tools that you need for a cinema cinematographer you get that with the EOS R5C but if the picture the photo is the most important part of the, the video is that something that you take here and there then you know EOS R5 would do it for you yeah. but I don't think that based on the on the autofocus from the test that I, I have done Today, and also with the, compare with the C70, I don't think that the EOS R5C is bad. The autofocus is, is bad, right? It's really, it's really good. I'm really, really impressed with that. And I did not expect it today, all right? All right, so Akuna Matata, my friend, so that's what I really want to share with you, that if you base your thinking on the autofocus to buy or not to buy the EOS R5C, I think that if that's the case, you just buy the EOS R5C, right? And also, I did compare it with the Canon C70 as well, right? So that's the video right there, and you can watch it, right? So, Akuna Matata, my friend, you know, I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, yeah? Love and peace. Bye.